Good morning, welcome on this lovely sunny Saturday. We're going to do a rune and tarot pick. So just putting your focus and attention into where you're at right now. What you'd like the runes to speak to you. And let's pick our rune for today. Okay, we have Thora's house today. Um, this is a very interesting rune. It's one that work I work with, uh, I have worked with quite closely. It has a profound effect on changes, taking action, um, things that you want to achieve. It has a defensive element to it as well, quite a protective element. Um, and it's very forceful. It's It represents um, the Mollinger, so it's uh, Thor's hammer. So it's where you are at that point, ready to take action, and you're like, enough, I've got to get this done. I've got to do this. I've got to make this change. And Thora's as is kind of like the, the piercing into it that starts that journey, that starts that train off. So let's just have a look. So if there's something you're thinking about taking action on right now, um, and a mantra that I've always used or have used in the past with Thora's as is about just do the right thing. Do the right thing. And we often that answer is already within you as to what the right thing is, but it's not necessarily the easiest answer. Okay, so let's have a look. Nine of Wands, yeah. So there's, there's a victory here. There is a lot that you've overcome, like nine is the number of completion. Nine is that representation of, just, just look at all of this, stuff that you've done you know some of these experiences may have been difficult for you but there's something in it that brings beauty that makes you who you are today and that is who you are today you are stepping forward now with that power with that strength to say do you know what this is what I want and I'm going to go after it I'm going to do it um, and when you sort of start to look at all the things that you've achieved in a better light, in a way of, I'm here because of the experiences that I've been through. And rather than seeing them as a trauma or something that holds you back or something that you have to explain to other people as being something negative about yourself, those things happen when they happened. You did what you had to do at the time. And when you knew better, you did better. And now you can put that behind you, but use it as like a, a foundation, a platform almost to rise you up. So you can look at Thoris as another way, as like a tool. Imagine a tool, like a stick with a sharp stone on it. And you've got some rocky earth that you're kind of pounding. And that's all those experiences is that rocky earth. Instead of allowing it to consume you and stay barren and rocky, you're using action to break up that rocky earth into fertile soil. And you are getting closer to that ability to actually manifest the things that really mean something to you in your life. Stop circling around the same old stuff um, that isn't really working for you anymore. This is showing you, recognize the patterns, recognize all the things that you've come through and the, the subtle changes that you may have made. Well, now it's time to say, well, I'm done with that, bollocks to that. Um, that's it, I'm not gonna go back there anymore. And Thorazaz is the tool, the action point that will power you to do that. Um, and once you make that claim to yourself, once you make that statement to yourself, you better be ready to make those changes because it's coming. So, I hope this reading finds you well. If you would like a reading, please do DM me on Instagram um, and I will send you your reading as soon as possible. You get a one question reading um, or you can book in for a, a full reading, um, come to the studio or we can do it online. Um, I've also on the 20th of January, I've got a, a, a morning with runes, working with runes. So we'll have a guided meditation with that and you get to learn a little bit more um, about how your particular rune can help you move forward in your life. So I hope this reading finds you well. Best of be.